Hey guys, so these Titan drawers, what do you reckon? Are these cheap drawers worth buying? Well, stay tuned to find out. Just out here, we're at like a little parking area just underneath this bridge and I thought it would be the best probably area to be able to film this. So, so I picked these up from Gumtree about four years ago for about $200 and it took me, and it was unopened, it was all new, the guy just wanted to change his setup and um, these were actually made for my car, so that's the Prado 120 and this is the dual um, tied in drawer system. So with these drawers, it actually took me one afternoon to be able to put it together. Though, um, if you do get these drawers, I reckon you should have a mate with you to fix these up with you because they are quite heavy. They're about 80 Ks, so that's a lot of metal to carry and put in the car. But if you have a mate with you, you're, you can bolt these down It'll only take like an afternoon. Why do I like these drawers? It's the fact that can, it keeps me organized and the fact that um, I don't have to be reaching over things or moving things around in the cabin just to get what I need. So um, I'll give you a quick tour, but <laughs> mind that it's a bit messy because we haven't really been out. So in my, on my left hand side, usually has all my tools and my cover gear over here so it's easy access and I also have um, this ammo box here which has all my straps everything that I need my tab tie down points and on the other side is all my cookware so this is everything I need um, for um, my kitchen I usually have a camping stove at the back over here but um, that's at home uh, but yeah, that's usually how it's set up. I also have um, the drawer also features a slide for my Waco 60 CF, which is a good piece of gear to have, and it helps. It especially helps me when getting food. I don't have to lift this thing out, slide it out, and open. So it's pretty good, and. You just slide it back into place and click it in. So it really helps with um, organization and it doesn't require that much um, modifications to be able to do that. Um, I have these bolted down to my car. So that took a little of fidgeting, but if you have a mate with you that can help you with this, then it's a lot easier. Um, one other thing with these is the fact that um, these could be molded and these could be modified to suit your needs. So. We'll go inside and check that out. Hey guys, so currently we're at the back of the drawer system and I just wanted to give you guys a different angle and to show you another reason why I love these drawers. One of the reasons why I love these um, drawers is the fact that I can hard mount things to it, um, particularly my dual battery system. So I have my charger, um, my DC-DC charger, sorry, my battery and my inverter to be able to charge laptops and give power to anything that needs a wall plug. If you have um, a standard drill and some drill bits, you're able to measure and drill out the holes needed to be able to mount whatever accessories that you have. So I was able to do this in two hours. I remember we had a fishing trip and we weren't catching anything, so and I had the drill in the car, so I thought I'll I'll put some work into it, and within two hours, everything is hard mounted. So it's a cheap way. Um, a budget way of doing things so not only do you get the drawers but you also have a place to mount your dual battery system so yeah it's another point all right so now for the cons well I reckon the cons with these drawers are the fact that they are pretty heavy um, they weigh roughly about 80 kilos and that's why I said earlier on that if you do have a mate to help you put these in I suggest that you give them a call and make sure that they're available for to help you out um, another um, thing with these drawers is that the fact that they are uh, on the cheaper side is that sometimes they come with uh, some faults. So um, I hear a lot of forms that um, the railings 
just under here are quite sharp and they are a bit sharp but um, I can run my fingers there no problem but on other models they are pretty sharp so you can actually file these down so that's okay uh, but when you do get them um, straight away check for any um, faults sometimes there could be manufacturing faults sometimes there will be bent wheel bearings or warped slides or warped slides like, like one over here but um, so far mine has been tip-top shape and has, hasn't failed me yet so um, other than those yeah I think the biggest one is got to be the weight would I recommend these yes definitely I would recommend these especially if you're on a budget especially you're not too fussy about all those little things not too fussy about the weight these are perfect to start out and look I've had these for four years and I don't think I'll change unless these actually break on me if you have been for driving for a while and you know your setup maybe you want to upgrade to something like Drifter or um, any of the other brands or build your own but for get out of these so I would recommend these. Um, just be wary of the weight and um, be wary of the fact that you may need another person to help you out with these. Um, but overall, they're actually really, really good. I really enjoy these. Well, thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope this was helpful in whether or not you wanted to purchase these drawers. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to keep you up to date with our travel videos and related four-wheel drive videos. Also, leave a comment and tell us what you think of these drawers if you have them. Again, thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next one.